question of the week from the Naked Scientists. I'm Timothy Revel, and this week we are sinking our teeth into this question. Hello, Naked Scientists. We are Joanne and David from Dublin and Ireland, and we wanted to know what would happen if a scuba diver was swallowed by a toothed whale. Would he be able to escape back up the esophagus, or would he be crushed by the muscles? To find out the answer, I zipped up my wetsuit and jumped off a pier into the ocean of knowledge with animal anatomist Joy Rendenberg. Now we're floating about in the sea, and I can see a few orcas. Joy, are we likely to get swallowed up? Orcas, also known as killer whales, just don't have big enough mouths to swallow a human. An orca's gape is only big enough to engulf a human's head, but not much more of the human's body. What's more is the opening of the throat is much smaller than the mouth. It can accommodate a large whole salmon, perhaps even a human thigh, but nothing much larger. So an orca accidentally swallowing a human, especially one sporting a scuba tank, is akin to saying you accidentally swallowed a watermelon, whole. It's just physically impossible. Well, that's reassuring, but I can see a few bigger whales swimming around. What about those sperm whales? Sperm whales are certainly bigger, but their throats are relatively small. However, a large adult may be big enough to swallow us. And baleen whales certainly have a mouth big enough to engulf a human, but their throats are just not big enough to swallow one. But it's really unlikely that a tooth whale would even attempt to swallow a human. To date, there are no records of such an event happening. Rarely humans have been killed by whales, but not accidentally eaten. OK, but that won't satisfy our listeners. I'm going to force this orca to swallow me. Uh, Joy, could you describe what's going on? Well, first, you're upside down, since orcas always swallow whole prey head first. Trying to escape is going to be like trying to crawl out of a tight-fitting sleeping bag made out of wet, slimy foam rubber, but backwards. Oh, this is tight. Joy, how should I get out of here? If it were me... I'd try to open a scuba tank valve and let the force of compressed air act like jet propulsion rocket to propel me backward out of the throat. Okay, I'll give that a go. (laughs) Let me just swim back over to you. That was so much fun. Now let's take a look at the stomach of a whale. If we just shrink ourselves and slide down the esophagus, what's going to happen to us? The digestive enzymes of a killer whale have no problem digesting other mammals, and so our human flesh will be just as easily digested. Yeah, I can feel them eating away at my skin. Shouldn't the wetsuits protect us? Uh, well, unfortunately, there are leaky gaps in our wetsuits, which is why it's called a wetsuit. So let's change to our dry suits. Okay. Done. Wetsuits and dry suits are both made from the same artificial rubber used to make oil-resistant and acid-resistant protective gloves. And so it wouldn't be digested by the stomach enzymes. But if a whale can't digest something, then it'll try to pass it out. However, the bulkiness of the undigested material is likely to block the intestinal tract and cause death. Oh, Joy, this uh, stomach rumbling is making me a bit nervous. Are we going to get thrown up? Well, there's no record of orcas vomiting solid remains from their prey, and I suspect it would be unlikely that they will throw us up. Or, for that matter, any remains from any other scuba divers. Wonderful. Now let's get out of here. With feet firmly on the ground, Joy decided to write us an article all about being swallowed by whales, which you can read at thenakedscientists.com. Next week, we will be answering this question from Paul Jen. Hi, Naked Scientist. I was on an interminable flight from New York to Hong Kong a few days ago, and I don't understand why airplane manufacturers aren't working on increasing the speed of air travel. Heck, if they just shortened the trip by 50%, that would please me 500%. Are we going to be forever stuck in this airspeed? What are the constraints of aerodynamics? Are there noise issues? Can a supersonic jet be ever built with decent fuel economy? Will we ever see another Concorde in our lifetime? Thank you. What do you think? Will we forever be stuck at the same airspeed, or will we be able to halve our air travel time? You can post on our Naked Scientist Facebook page, tweet at Naked Scientists, email chris at thenakedscientist.com, or join in the debate on our forum, which is at nakedscientist.com slash forum. 
Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com. Thank you.